Hello everyone, this is Dr. Vishal Tivedi from Department of Biosciences and Bioengineering IIT Guwahati. You know that the human body is made up of, of the trillions of cells and these trillions of cells are made up of, of the different types of biomolecules. Mainly the biomolecules are made up of, of the proteins, carbohydrates, uh, lipids and the nucleic acids. And most of these biomolecules are made up of, of their constituent molecules such as proteins are made up of, of the amino acids and then the amino acids are made up of, of the constituent atoms. And these atoms are coming together to build the molecules. So, molecule is actually been the very very crucial entities in this whole sequence of the biological organizations where whatever is happening inside an organism it's probably been happening because there could be something happening at the molecular level or there's something happening between the molecules. So, what you have understood now is that the molecules are interacting with each other, molecules are uh, you know assembling and disassembling uh, during the process for different types of biological processes and that is how they are actually being responsible for the final outcome. So, in the current course what we are going to discuss, we are going to discuss about the different aspects related to the molecular biology. So, we are going to start very simple with the understanding of the cells right. So, once you understand the cell then we are going to talk about how the cell is being formed right. So, when we are going to discuss about the cell we are going to talk about the cellular structures whether it is a prokaryotic cell or whether it is a eukaryotic cell. And then we are going to talk about the different types of activities of the cell such as the cell division, apoptosis and autophagy. And then uh, we will talk about the different types of biomolecules because the cell is undergoing the different types of processes and all these processes are going to be controlled by the different types of biomolecules. So, we are going to talk about the nucleic acids, proteins, enzymes. And then uh, these biomolecules are actually being synthesized by a central process which is called as the central dogma of molecular biology. So, within the central dogma of molecular biology we are going to talk about the replication, transcription and translation. And then apart from that uh, we are also going to talk about the different types of molecular techniques. So, we are going to talk about the techniques such as the PCR. RT-PCR blotting techniques such as the southern blotting, northern blotting and western blotting. And apart from that we are also going to talk about the techniques uh, which are responsible for genome editing and the ultimately we are also going to discuss about the applications of the molecular biology for the daily life. So, we are going to talk about how the PCR being used for the detection of the different types of diseases or how the RT-PCR is being used for detection of the uh, COVID and other kinds of diseases and so on. So, while we were doing the this kind of discussion right for every topic we are going to talk about the theory component, we are going to discuss about the experiments. For example, if when we talk about the cell cycle and cell division, we are going to talk about different stages of the cell cycle can be studied with the help of the flow cytometry and so on. So, we are actually going to have the theoretical aspect of these experimental status and we are also going to have some of the experimental uh, setups. Uh, we are going to take you to my lab and then we are going to show you the couple of demos. Apart from that, we are also going to have the regular discussion forum while we are going to run this course. So, we are also going to have the regular discussion about all these aspects. So, we are going to have the live discussion and as well as there will be a discussion forum where you actually can be able to discuss your questions. So, this course is mainly for the undergraduate and as well as the postgraduate students especially for the BTEC and MTEC and MSc students. But since we are going to deal with the theoretical aspect and the technical aspect also, so we are going to talk about the genomic libraries, we are going to talk about the PCR, we are going to talk about the RT-PCR and many of these things we are actually going to show you in detail. So, it is very good also for the some of the NHG student at a very very initial stage. How the evaluation is going to work? So, evaluation will have the assignments every week and we are only going to have the multiple choice questions and so on. And then at the end we are going to have the end sum questions. So, it, where you also going to have the multiple choice questions. So, you are going to have the 100 questions and 
uh, and you are also going to get the 3 hours to solve these questions. And then you are also going to have the some of the questions from the assignments itself so that it will be easy for you to, uh, you know, to solve the, these questions. This is all about the course and at the end of this course you will be able to understand the uh, basics of the cell biology, you will be able to understand how the different types of molecules are interacting with each other and result into the governance of the different types of processes such as replication, transcription and translations. And apart from that it also can be able to explain you how the digestive system is working in the body, how the circulatory system is working in the body and so on. And then we are also going to talk about the many types of techniques. So, that also will actually going to help you to understand the different types of processes. So, I hope that you will be going to have a good learning experience while you go through with this particular course. I hope that you will enjoy the course. Thank you. Mm -hmm.